Hello everyone, my name is Rita Warren and welcome back to episode 4 of the Unreal Engine tutorials. Uh, today I want to cover basic lighting in Unreal Engine and the different types of lights that you can use. So, um, if you click the lighten tab on the left hand pane in the modes tab, uh, you can select different types of lights. Of the most basic type of light uh, is a point light. If you left click that and drag it into the scene, uh, notice it will put a light into your scene. So essentially, uh, like a 3D object, a light has basic manipulation parameters so you can move it within the X, Y and Z space uh, and you can also change the size of the light and its intensity. Um, however, lighting in Unreal Engine has slightly different parameters from a 3D object. Um, see, the scale for example, this can actually be changed by the attenuation radius. Uh, that is actually the radius at which the circle, uh, or sphere, sorry, can actually have an impact with the lighting. So if you change this variable, it decreases the radius of the sphere, and subsequently because of that, the light actually affects less 3D space. Another thing to note is that you can actually change the intensity of a spotlight. Uh, if I increase that, notice the light becomes much more bright, and if I increase the attenuation radius, it will affect all of the room. Also, one thing to note is that whenever you make any changes to lighting, uh, you will need to rebuild the lighting in the scene. To do that, uh, if you've not implemented any 3D objects, you can simply go to lighting uh, only and press that, and depending on your quality, it will begin to build, so and then compress any textures. So. So it comes up with a menu down here and uh, it may take a bit of time to actually build and I will be right back once it's built. Okay then, now that the lighting build has completed, it is now encoded in the textures, uh, this bakes the lighting into the scene and notice that the lighting is of a higher quality actually inside the room now. Now the next light I actually want to show you all is the spotlight. If you drag that into the scene, um, a spotlight is essentially a point light, however it has a cone angle, and the cone angle, uh, anything within the cone is affected by the light, however anything outside of it isn't affected. And I can actually change the angle of the cone by changing the outer cone angle. If I decrease that, notice how the radius of the cone is different. Um, I can increase it and decrease it. So typically you'd use this for spotlights in your level. Um, so there's many different practical uses of this. Um, however, just like a point light, it has the same parameters, so I can increase the intensity, uh, obviously change the cone angle, and it also has the same attenuation radius. So I can decrease that and notice how I've now got a uh, a section or a segment of a sphere which it is affecting. Um, so that is essentially a spotlight and one other thing to cover is that if I simply duplicate this uh, multiple times like so, so there is four spotlights next to each other, notice that if I have another spotlight I get a red X on the actual uh, 2D sprite where the lighting source is. That is because um, Unreal Engine cannot process multiple spotlights uh, in the same location. Uh, that is if they are set to stationary. However, uh, this can actually be resolved by if you click on the light and set it to static mobility, that will fix the issue. So if I change all these to static, like so, notice it goes back to a traditional lighting light sprite. Okay, so that's essentially fixed the problem. Um, now, we're, in terms of spotlights, that is all there is to cover, and the next light I want to cover is the directional light. So for this, I'm actually going to delete the roof, and then I'm going to drag a directional light into the scene. Um, however, considering that the game environment already has a spotlight, I'm actually going to delete that. Um, and the directional light can be identified in the scene as a light source. So the light source, this is actually the directional light. In terms of directional lights, the way in which they are used is for sunlight and lighting where the actual focus point of the 
example, item source is so far away that you can actually consider the uh, ray casting lines to be parallel to one another. So typically you use it in sunlight uh, and anything of that nature in a game environment. Um, and the only difference is that uh, a directional light doesn't actually have a cone angle or a uh, attenuation radius because it affects all the points in the level. Um, however, you can change the rotation of the directional light and notice how it alters the shading of each object in the level depending on where the location is. You can actually change it in the level blueprint to make it so that uh, the directional light's angle is tied to the time of day. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial, um, however, what I am going to cover is that you can change the time of day. So to do that, select the Sky Sphere Blueprint, um, and then the first thing you want to do is notice that the directional light actor is tied to the light source. Simply clear that for right now, and then you can actually change the height of the sun to control the different time of day. So if I change that variable, notice it decreases the sun height, um, and obviously if I decrease it to a state of the horizon, uh, that stimulates an evening or a morning environment. So I can actually decrease it even further, and that creates a night scene. So you'll then have to, uh, in order to change, like produce a night scene, you'll have to decrease the intensity of the light source. So if I really decrease that quite a bit, um, that is essentially stimulating a nighttime environment. Um, but that is all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. I hope you found it informative. My name is Bruce Warren. I hope to see you in the next one. So thank you for watching.